So I guess sort of walk us through the transition from that moment to where you're now doing the work you're doing and speaking so regularly and, you know, impacting lives and making, making it so people are continuously getting better and you're improving the businesses and things of that nature. Yeah. Well, let me tell you right now, it's not a smooth, quick transition. This took years. And the first few years were fight were like fight for sure. Not flight, but fight. I was fighting for my next one. I was fighting for my next breath, my next walk, my next step. Mm -hmm. It took 45 minutes again, two, then 40, then 35, then 30, then 25, then 20. Mm. Every day was a grind, arduous, difficult, one step forward, three steps back. And I'm like, what am I doing here? Mm -hmm. Wait, the nurse got me talking again, man. We're stripping out of the park. And kids playing football, soccer across the park. And she goes, Dan, those kids across the park, they don't think you're good enough to talk. Dan, they don't think you're good enough to talk. And I found out pretty quickly that's a big trigger for me, being told I'm not good enough to do something. Mm -hmm. And I yelled across the park, I'll spare your team some profanities I yelled, but let's just say I found my voice. And I found out pretty quickly that's a motivator for me. Like to prove you wrong burns deep, man. That's mm -hmm. that's a toxic fuel that burns the freight trainer. But walking in tune Broadway, I want to show you a story about walking in tune Broadway, man, to show you how difficult this was for me, right? So have you been to London, my man? Have you been to London? Say that again. Have you been to London? I haven't, no. All right. So let me set the scene for you and your listeners. Tooting Broadway is an area in South London, okay? An area they call up and coming. Mm -hmm. uh, sirens, drugs, right. gangs. It's dirty, it's hectic, and boys are busy. Walk with a cane and walk with an eye patch. After four months in a wheelchair, I'm literally Bambi on ice. I turn the corner to walk on the high street for the first time. I immediately get slammed into by someone. Hmm. Stagger back a few feet. Someone scurries past me on the right hand side. I thought I was done with the rats. Someone had been stabbed on the sidewalk over here. I'm thinking it's a pretty wild place on her to walk. Man. After a few days, this I was thinking this is the worst place on her to walk in the world. Can't they see I'm trying to walk here? Can't they see I'm trying? Hmm. And then one day my perspective shifted. Maybe this isn't the worst place to learn how to walk in the world. No, maybe it's the best. If I can walk here, I can walk anywhere. And Tune Broadway didn't change, right? Right. We went from the worst to the best in my mind, and my mood reflected that. What are you looking at in your life you're convinced is the worst? Convinced is the absolute worst. Hey, 